What's going on YouTube? It's your main man, Boyce Life, coming at you with another video. It is San Antonio Rodeo time. I am super excited. Been waiting for this for a while now. John Party, you don't know who he is, go check him out. Well, I hope y'all like that intro. This weekend, I was at the rodeo this weekend. Got to see John Party. You saw a little clip there at the beginning. It was great. I wish I... <laughs> I just got so into the rodeo, I forgot to record um, the steer wrestling, the barrel race, uh, the barrel racing, um, what the, 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 the mutton bust, which are when little kids go out there and they ride the sheep as far as they can. You got little four-year-olds, six-year-olds. It is hella fun to watch. Um, you know, you got the, the roping, you got the bull riding, you got the bronco busting. It, it's all great stuff. And um, I wish I had recorded some of it, but I just got so into it that um, I just completely forgot. And then when, of course, the concert came on, had to record that. So, but now it's time to get into football. So we're going to take off this cowboy hat and that's only going to come on when need be. And then now we're going to put on the cowboy hat. Now, first thing that I want to discuss, because I haven't been on in a while making these kind of videos, and I want to talk about the Dak Prescott situation. Now, I've just been sitting back watching cowboy content creators or video makers. I've been watching, you know, listening to the reports and this, that, and the third and everything, right? What I'm getting, what I'm getting out is that Dak Prescott had an offer during the season and he turned down 33 mil a year and the reports are saying he wanted 40. Now the reports are coming out and saying that he didn't ask for 40, which we knew, but it's going back and forth that he did or didn't. And the $33 million um, a year that he turned down wasn't what he wanted. Now, that could be a number of things. It could be the guarantees weren't there. Maybe it could be he wanted the 40. We just don't know because there's so much shit going out. But why is it that that the Cowboys, Jerry Jones and Stephen Jones, have, have Michael Irvin out there, you know, even though this is all cleared up, apparently had Michael Irvin out there talking about Tom Brady coming in. You know, is it to gain leverage over Dak Prescott and make him sweat a little bit? You know, there's there's a number of things. You know, they just they don't call Jerry Jones the greatest businessman of all time for no reason. You know, he didn't make the Hall of Fame for the Dallas Cowboys by being some mediocre businessman. He knows what he's doing. The reports are said that they want to get a deal done before the franchise tag on March 10th. Now what 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 that you know if that's going to happen we're going to yet to see if that's really what what they want to get done like Jerry Jones says deadlines make deals um you know would I want Tom Brady here mm, do I want him you, you know <clears throat> here's the thing here's the thing Tom Brady is 43 years old Okay, would it be great to have Tom Brady here as a backup and have Dak Prescott pick his mind? Hell yes, it would. Hell yes. Would I want Tom Brady there to be a starter? No, I wouldn't. No, I would not. But, you know, that's not going to happen. We already know that. Dak Prescott is our quarterback. He is. He's our quarterback. Um, 
I am all in on Dak Prescott like a lot of these guys are. Like a lot of them are. I'm all in on him just because of where we are at right now with our team. You know, if we were if we weren't as strong, as talented as we are, would I be all in on Dak? No, I probably wouldn't. I probably, you know what? He's played great. He's played great, but we need a team around a quarterback. Trade him, bring some people in. But the pieces that we got, he is viable to this offense. He is. He is. With Mike McCarthy coming in and all this new coaching staff coming in, I really think he's going to flourish. I really do. I really do. And <clears throat> Mike McCarthy has said he wants Dak Prescott as his quarterback. He has. Dak Prescott is, what, 27 years old? He has made upwards of $4 million, you know, only $4 million being the quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys. Now, a lot of people are saying he needs to get paid. He needs to get paid. He needs all this money. And I, I, I get it. I get it. See, I'm more old school to where, you know, you win something for me, then I'll pay you. It shouldn't be backwards where I'm going to pay you and hope that you, excuse me, win something for me. Because when you take it that that route, normally these guys get paid. Look at Zeke. He had a, yes, he had a great year, but he wasn't like what he what he's been. He's got paid. He has gotten paid, and he looked off this year. Yes, it was great. It was a good season for him, but he didn't look like he did his rookie or his sophomore year. Not even close. Not even close. A lot of these guys, look at Tank. He got paid. Where the hell was he? And I don't want to hear that he got double teamed because a lot of guys got double teamed and still made plays. <clears throat> oh, man. You know, I, I really wish it wasn't. I really wish it wasn't like this where you pay me now and I'm going to try to win you something. You know, I, I, I wish it was win me something and then you'll be rewarded getting paid. Dak Prescott, do I believe he deserves 33 mil a year? Do I think he's even up there? I, I honestly, my opinion, and I'm going to probably get a lot of flack for this. I don't. I don't. Stats are stats, like Gerard Johnson said. But when your best season comes at an 8-8, eight and eight, it's kind of hard for me to be like, okay, let me pay you. Let me pay you, you know? Um, I'd rather pay someone, you know, being a game manager and us being 13-3 and three like he was his rookie year then, having all these stats and... We end up 8-8. Eight eight. Now, I get it. It's Jason Garrett. I know it was um, Rod Marinelli and Chris Richards. Ben, don't break defense. Mm, but it's hard for me to pay somebody that after an 8-8 eight eight season, he has his best season. <clears throat> there was multiple games where he didn't have touchdowns. And you want to blame that on Garrett? Why is it that some games he had Three, four, five, three, four touchdowns. And then there's other games. He went stretches with nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, the way I see it is that's just inconsistency. I need more consistency to be like, okay, I'm going to pay you because you're, you're consistent. You're consistent. You know, so that's where I'm having a hard time. To me, he's a Kirk Cousins type of guy. 28 mil. 29 mil, 20, somewhere around there. That That's just what he is to me. Now, if he were to go win me a, a, a Super Bowl, win me a Super Bowl, you know, two years till the end of his contract, because he's going to get another big contract. He is. He's going to get another good to great contract, another one. Why not if he were to win a Super Bowl, then give him that amazing contract? Then. Right now, you give him a, a decent uh, 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 a decent contract, 27, 28 mil, then you go win us a Super Bowl, okay, two years removed from the end of your this, this deal, boom, let me pay you 34, 35, 36 million because you know what? You've the first quarterback in 20-some-odd years to win us a Super Bowl. 
That's just how I view it. Now, the Cowboys have said they want to get this done. But you know what? They said the same thing with Zeke last season. And it came down to the fucking wire. It came down to the fucking wire. So we'll see what happens. We will. You know, Zeke held out last season, and it pissed me off when he did. But, you know, it is what it is. This year, you know, Dak Prescott says if, 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 if he doesn't get a contract, he's not playing. So we'll see what happens. But I'm getting back into the swing of things. <clears throat> I need this kind of cold that I got. Hope it's not the flu to kind of run through its course right now. Like I, I'm feeling the early stages of it, but I'm going to try to be pumping out more videos. Um, because like I said, this is my favorite, one of my, other than the regular season, I like to do the off season cause I like to stir the pot, talk shit. And I like to keep people's names in my mouth because I like to be the agitator. I really love agitating and getting under people's skins. So I'll be back. I'm out. Peace.